Our trust index tonight is taking a look at some claims about COVID-19. Treatment options for the virus are limited, and the Omicron variant has proved to be an even bigger challenge for providers. News for Jack's consumer investigator Lauren Bernal looks at claims over treatment for the variant. So there are really three treatments if someone gets sick with COVID until Pfizer and Merck's antiviral pill hits the market next year. Now the main ones you've probably heard of and are most available, Regeneron and Eli Lilly. They're the most readily available at hospitals and treatment centers in Florida right now. And then the third, less available option is Sotro Vmop. There's currently none of this treatment available in Northeast Florida right now though. So the claim we are putting to the trust index, do monoclonal antibodies work against the Omicron variant? We all know how pivotal these treatments were with the Delta variant. You may remember this image of the woman lying on the floor at the treatment center at the Jacksonville Public Library waiting for the monoclonal antibodies. But Omicron is now the dominant variant across the U.S. According to the CDC's latest estimate, Omicron cases make up 58.6% of cases across the U.S. But in the Southeast, it's estimated to make up 78% of cases. But new studies show Regeneron and Eli Lilly treatment offered at the Joseph Lee Center near Brentwood and other treatment sites across Northeast Florida don't offer relief against Omicron. But Sotro VMOB has proven to be effective against the Omicron variant. And now you're funneling the entire nation's uh, need for a monoclonal antibody to one product. And so that one product uh, was not expected to be the sole monoclonal antibody. And so those supplies are now running out. So on the trust index, we are going to mark the claim, do monoclonal antibodies work against the variant as be careful. So there is a treatment option right now that works against the Omicron variant, but it's not readily available. Nielsen says the few courses available in Florida at all will be used on the sickest people who need it the most. Nielsen says they are going to continue using Regeneron on a case by case basis because there's still a chance the person can be infected with Delta. Overall, though, doctors say it's best not to rely on the treatment, which is why they're pushing people to get vaccinated so they don't need it in the first place. Lauren Verno, Channel 4, The Local Station.